Hey, what's up? It's Pierre Pappy Jackson of the Philadelphia 76 and you're watching Through the Lens. So you're listed as a 5'10 point guard. Can you describe how it was growing up for you playing? Were there people in your high school that doubted you based off your height? People were saying I couldn't play at the level I was in junior college. I went to one of the best schools. People said I wouldn't do nothing there. I ended up finishing as the best player in junior college, best point guard, blah, blah, I won that championship. When I was headed to Baylor, you know, the people were saying I couldn't do this and couldn't do that. I ended up being the best player on the, uh, that team my junior year. And then my senior year, I ended up finishing. You know, leading scoring and leading in assists. One of the commentators said during one of my games I wasn't going to make it to December in my first year. You know, and then he ended up being one of my biggest fans before I left. That's one of my one of my things that keep me going is uh, just proving people wrong because I hear it a lot and I see it a lot. You know. This was the guest room, but I put all my shoes in here. Put most of my shoes in here. So this is like a room for your sneakers. Oh my god. Yeah. Um. This this most of my um. I got a variety. I got Jordans, obviously. Uh, I'm more of like a Nike guy, so I wear more of like Air Max Ones and, and trainers and Harajis and stuff like that. This is a women's Harachi, but they're just they're gold joints. They're pretty clean. I wore them one time. Do you wear all these shoes? I mean, I try to, for the <laughs> most part. Mark and Mindy's. Uh, these were real popular when I was in high school. Brand new. But I ain't got a chance to wear them yet. I actually got these in LA. I got these at Fight Club. I just got these, what, yesterday? Two days ago? Yeah, sweet things. Yeah, I haven't got a chance to wear these yet. Do you have a basketball shoe you like to hoop in? My favorite? Yeah, I, I, I hoop in a lot of stuff, man. I, I played these in my first game back in the summer league against the Lakers. I Nike ID these, and you know, I got my I got my daughter's name on the tongue. Journey Jack. These aren't basketball shoes for me, but this is shoe I'm gonna wear. I don't know when I'm gonna wear it. These came out. Like in sixth grade, he's my favorite player, LeBron James, his first shoe. Like every year I make a shoe for my grandma, the um, breast cancer survivor. The base is really, it's usually all pink or it's all neon and uh, with, a, with a little bit of both in them. That's part of the reason I got the number 55 uh, when I was in Dream College, she was diagnosed. And uh, she, at the time she was 55 years old. But now she's doing well. She's, I mean, you're gonna see a little bit, like I said, a little bit later. She's, she's crazy. She's back to her old ways. Clean. I ain't, got, I ain't wear these yet. I don't know when I'm gonna wear these. I'm actually gonna meet up with this, this woman named Katie. Uh, she does a, she does custom shoes for me. One of these, these are one of them. Wow, those are cool. Yeah, it's nice and simple. I played in these um, in the summer league. She made these for me. Real simple, but now you see the damage done to them. They was out there fouling. <laughs> Altitude 13s, pretty dope. I ain't got a chance to wear these. I'm probably wearing them in the season for Green Week. It's probably my favorite, like top two Jordan of all time for me. Black cement threes. With me, I didn't grow up with too many shoes. Well, you know, so I didn't get the shoes that I wanted all the time. So, you know, with me, I give away a lot of shoes. Um, to the less fortunate kids around here, you know, I sell a lot of shoes for cheap. That's, I love shoes, and I, I just want—I just want people to have a nice kicks. So, oh my gosh! Say hi, hi, baby. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah. Wow. You just said hi, big girl. Oh. Yeah, you see, you starting early, swagging. That's funny. Already with the kicks. You just said hi on camera. We can't even get you saying stuff. Look at her. <laughs> she just said she hi, bro. She said hi. Wow. She, said hi, she said hi, she said hi. 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 Yeah, come on, let's mob out, baby. Last year in the summer league, you ruptured your Achilles. Can you describe that day leading up to the injury? I got traded that summer back to Philadelphia. So everybody was looking forward to what, what can this dude do? He's supposed to be in the league, blah, blah. So first quarter I had like, I had like seven points in like two minutes or something like that. So I was just heating up, and then as soon as I play, got coach called to play for me. As soon as I did it, I tore my Achilles, and then yeah, the timing was terrible. I I freaked out. 
I was okay until I heard somebody, I overheard somebody say, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's his Achilles. And I like freaked out because all I've been hearing is horror stories about Achilles. Right. You know, and I freaked out. But I had my surgery, got over it, like, okay, it happened. You know, as soon as I got out of my cast, I came to Vegas and I started rehabbing the first day. From that day, he asked me how, how often I want to come. I said every day. I said like five, six months, I was jumping again. She's not mad. She okay. You can't see her unless you say hi to the camera. <laughs> you gotta say hi to the camera or you can't see my baby. We are at my grandma's house. This is my grandma raised me for the most part. I, mean, I stayed on the, at this different house in, um, on the on the east Lake, Las Vegas. I was, I was there from basically from a kid to 17. And then when I went to college, they tore down the whole the whole complex, so my grandma had to move. And then I, so she's been here since 2009. Okay. So just I was here for the most part. Up until college. Yeah. It's a picture from when I was in. Uh, what is this from? When I was in fourth grade. Fifth grade. So how long have you been playing basketball? This is like, that's the first year I play organized basketball. Fifth grade? Yeah. And that's when I started liking LeBron. LeBron came out that next year. And that's okay. one of my favorite players since. Oh, these are my shoes from when I scored 58 points in the D League. This is the shoe I had um, when I uh, broke the record. That's awesome. Yeah. But that's, that's my model right there. Hey! That's me good. This is like your mommy. <laughs> no, you can't do me like you do that. No. This is me. Hi, my boo boo. <laughs> she ready. Hey. 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 Stand up, stand up with the feet, side by side, and see what she do. Let her hands go. I think it's hard to do. <laughs> she not sitting. She's gonna sit down. She said, I ain't trusting no more. So this summer, you got to play in the summer league and do really well. You got to play with the Sixers, and then you ended up signing, I believe, a four-year contract mm -hmm. with them, right? So what was it like when you finally got to sign that contract and after you've overcome all of these obstacles? Uh, it's a sigh of relief, man. Okay, you got what you wanted. It's been a long time enough for like, let's get to work for real now. Well, I'm ready just to prove them that I can play in the league now. Obviously, people think I can play, and obviously, the 76ers think I'm good enough to play here. So, you know, I'm just looking forward to take the next step as being one of the really, really great, good players, great players in the NBA, and um, earning my respect in that league now. Right. The top league in the world. So. I read something about how you had come out to watch the summer league when you were in middle school, right? Like in yeah, Vegas. yeah, that's And it's like thing. now you're out here playing in it. So it's like you came from one of the people going to watch the games to playing in them and, and getting a contract. That's another thing. Like, I came to the summer league. I didn't even know what it was. I just was with the Boys and Girls Club and we had got free tickets to go. And I ended up getting like a, a – I signed got my shoe autographed by Dwight Howard and Jimmy Nelson. You know what I'm saying? I was in seventh grade. I didn't even – I beat the hell out of them shoes. You know what I'm saying? I didn't I didn't I didn't know anything about it. But the whole the whole summer league thing, man, I never I never even imagined playing in it. With me it's all it's all positivity and, and confidence. With me it's like, alright, he might be taller, he might be bigger, but he can't guard me. He gotta guard me too. That's right. a, that's that's my thing. Like obviously I'm gonna have a hard time with the bigger guards, but those bigger guards can't guard me either. This is his shop, Urban Necessities, man. Uh, obviously, I'm into sneakers, and uh, I've been getting a lot of stuff from him, and uh, 
Y'all see this big ass store? He got a bunch of stuff. If you're in Vegas, man, y'all gotta stop by. So this is a 2013 Chicago One base that's been completely gutted and reconstructed. So the red is ostrich, white is python, black is shark skin, and again, inside is lamb skin. And what's this one? See these. That's denim and python. Python. I'm gonna play the game real quick. Okay, well it's five dollars a play, and it has a bunch of heat in here, obviously. But you gotta get the key inside the hole, which I'm not very good at. Wow, man, by this much, bro. Obviously. Come on, man. You think if it was that easy, I feel like everybody would be up here getting have a shoe. Next. When you heard the news about Isaiah Austin not being able to play basketball, how did you handle it and did you guys talk? Yeah, definitely. Isaiah is like a little brother to me, so, you know, once I heard that, I thought it was, I I woke up in the middle of my sleep because my group, the group text was going off, you know, with with the, we have a group text from the previous Baylor team and like some of the new guys and uh, I just kept seeing it. I didn't really pay attention. I went back to sleep and I woke up and then I looked and I seen the picture saying Isaiah I can't play basketball anymore, so I, I'm freaking out. Like what? No way, no way. My little brother hitting me. So I call, I FaceTime Isaiah, like crying. I'm crying already because, you know, he answered the phone. He's smiling. Like, what's up, man? I'm like, blah, blah. I'm like, bro, what the hell? Like, what's going on? He's like, yeah, man. Just got, I got the news. I was just with him. That's the crazy thing. I was with him the night he found out. But he dropped me off at the airport. So when he got home, he found out the news. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I, when I got out, I was crying and stuff. And then like, seeing his attitude, the way he went about it, you know, it's just life goes on, you know what I'm saying? I'm still here, so, you know, I can't complain, but uh, it's tough, but, you know, my family needs me and everybody needs me, blah, blah, blah. but he made it, he made, he made it better for me, you know, it felt like I wasn't going to play, you know, that's how close we are, but uh, that's my brother, man, he's a strong man, he's a strong man, definitely. So now can you tell me where we're at? We're at Canarelli Middle School. That's a Desert Rain Pro City. And you know, it's like the third year that they're doing this. Um, I haven't played this summer yet. But I played the two previous summers. I mean, it's, it's not as big as it should be or I, they wanted to get, but I think it's a good idea to get like a pro-am going on like during the, the uh, summer league. So um, you know, just so the city can come out and watch free basketball. What has that been like having a daughter and how has that changed your life? Me getting drafted was the second best day. Me being there for my being my daughter being born is definitely the best day of my life. I wanted to grab her, hug her, kiss her. And every day has been like that when I'm around her. So sometimes she just gets really happy and just like smiling and going crazy, you know, it's like but there she go right there. I just I love I love my daughter man. She's, That's perfect. She's the best. Day. Look who's here. Eric's look, looking look, for look, you. Look, look, look. Ah! Oh, hi, baby. She's tired. There she is. Star of the show. 